One of the core use cases of the Keeper platform is the capability to encrypt and protect confidential documents, photos, and videos with end-to-end -end encryption. Files that are stored in the Keeper Vault are encrypted with zero-knowledge AES-256 encryption, which means only the user has the ability to access their stored files. These files can also be shared with others, which are end-to-end -end encrypted from vault to vault using elliptic curve cryptography. With Keeper's powerful sharing capabilities, users can securely share their files contained in records and folders with other users in their organization across all devices with ease. This video will review how file storage and sharing is activated in the admin console and how to utilize Keeper's various sharing methods in the end user vault. Here in the node where your users are provisioned, you'll set up your default role policies. Role policies control several capabilities involving file management and sharing. Granular sharing policies control who can share passwords and documents stored in the vault. You can control if sharing is allowed between team members in the same tenant or allow sharing outside of the Keeper tenant to other users from other tenants within the same region. You can also control whether sharing records is allowed when files are attached, and you can control if one-time shares outside of the organization are allowed. This is typically used for sharing files with a vendor, contractor, or someone who does not have a Keeper account. Secure file storage protects your confidential files, photos, and videos. Securely upload and store files, such as legal, tax, and loan documents, videos, and any other private file to your Keeper Vault. Files are encrypted during upload, and the user holds the encryption key for complete privacy and security, making secure file storage the best way to save and transfer the most sensitive of information. Like your other Keeper records, you can set sharing permissions for records that contain your secure files with edit, share, and view only permission. I will now demonstrate the various methods that can be utilized to share important files and records to meet the specific needs of the organization. Easily share a single record with another Keeper user in your organization and choose from various permission types to control access. Simply open the record. This one is a file attachment record type titled Legal Documents. Click Share and enter the email address of the user you want to share the file with and set their permission level using the drop-down menu then click Add. Once the user has been added, you can even set an expiration to share the record on a temporary basis, automatically revoking access at a specified time of your choosing. Share multiple records and files at once by sharing a folder with other Keeper users or teams. Teams can be defined by your identity provider or created by the Keeper administrator. Here I've created a secure documents and discovery shared folder and there are several records which contain files related to a legal case. I can add additional records to this folder by dragging and dropping the records directly into the folder. Next, set folder permissions that govern the permission levels of the records and users within the folder. Like individual records, you can apply time-limited access to users within a shared folder, automatically revoking folder access at a specified time of your choosing. If allowed by the role enforcement policies, Set by the Keeper Administrator, users can also create one-time shares. One-time shares are useful for sharing a file or record with an outside vendor, contractor, or third party. In this case, it's set to be revoked after one hour. You have the option to copy the share link directly, or send it in an email or messaging invite or QR code format. One-time share links are bound to a single device further strengthening security and preventing unauthorized distribution or viewing on multiple devices. After an hour, this file will no longer be accessible. Self-destructing records utilize Keeper's one-time share technology I just reviewed. Additionally, self-destructing records are automatically deleted from your vault once the share link expires and the recipient's access is revoked. Self-destructing records support use cases where credentials need to be shared with a user outside of your organization on a temporary basis. This feature not only reduces vault clutter from unnecessary credentials, but it also minimizes the workload of the owner to revoke record access at a later time. Enter the record details and click Add Self-Destruct. From the drop-down menu that is now presented, select when you want the share link to expire. Click Save and Share to generate a one-time share link. Adding the self-destruct attribute to a record will expire the share link at a specified time or once the recipient has viewed the record for five minutes, whichever comes first. 
We hope this video was helpful in providing you with a high-level overview of the secure file storage and flexible sharing features Keeper has to offer. For a more detailed look at each sharing feature, please see the additional videos and end-user guides I've linked in the description below.